What's going on guys? Bitter Poet Madman here and welcome to It's Complicated. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Casio World Time, also known as the Casio Royale. Picked this thing up super cheap. It's got a little bit of an interesting story. Let's check it out. All right, this is a rarity for the channel. I usually talk about all mechanical watches here, but this digital piece really got my attention. And I've been looking at, well, I've been thinking about buying one for a while and they're so cheap. Eventually I just had a Amazon coupon and I figured it was time to pull the trigger. This is the Casio World Time and you can find it on Amazon for $22.37 US with Prime. And I had a $10 coupon, so after tax, I got it for 13 and change. They sell this watch a few different ways. You can get it in different colors. Um, if you want to get it on a resin band and in black, you can get it for $14.45 delivered. Has a great retro futuristic look to it. And I think it looks great on this stainless steel bracelet. Clearly this watch is definitely a nod to the Seiko Sports 500, which James Bond wore in the movie Octopussy and in 2015, the video game character Big Boss wore one in Metal Gear Solid 5. And you know, for, a re for that exact reference, for that Seiko Sports 500, a lot of them are not working and you're talking 800 bucks and I just can't justify spending any kind of good money on a quartz piece, especially digital. But this one just has enough charm to it for me to really like it. Um, it has a 39.5 millimeter case end to end here. A big problem I have with this watch, even at the price point, is that the case is plastic. And I would have gladly paid another five bucks to have the case in steel. It looks like it's steel. It looks like it's in metal here, but it's not, it's plastic. So there's a green variant of this case and a black one and just plastic. Not a fan of the lettering here, world time and illuminator. Um, there is a big modding community for this watch, or I should say there is a small modding community for this watch on the internet and you can find them uh, out there. And a lot of people try to remove these letterings and with various results. But I guess you can use acetone free nail polish remover if you're really careful. Some people take the whole crystal out and black in over the Casio and et cetera, et cetera. So let's get more into talking about this watch. Like I said, not a fan of the case being made of plastic. Um, it does feature a pseudo analog clock right here. You can see the minute hand at about uh, 17 minutes and the hour hand at eight o'clock, second hand ticking away there. And I think that's pretty cool. It has a LCD map, world map there. And when you stick it over in world time mode, and if you go hit the search button, just hold it in, it will cycle through all 31 time zones in the world, which is pretty cool. And in case you don't want to hit this button 31 times, you can just hit your mode, get it back to where you are. And then this button here, will cycle through your four programmed, uh, your featured time zone. So I have my local time, London, Moscow, and Tokyo. The only downside to that is with daylight savings time, like this indicates that it's set for daylight savings time. And then the other cities that actually use daylight savings time, they're not automatically adjusted. So you have to kind of go and do each one. And it is a big pain in the ass. Has five alarms, which is definitely overkill in my opinion. Has a timer here. Uh, there's alarm one, timer, stopwatch feature. It is a hundred meter water resistance and uh, just a mineral crystal, you know, has a light, pretty cool there. The bracelet, let's talk about this bracelet. It's it's super cheap. You can see here, you just take a flathead screwdriver in there and wiggle out and then get a pair of pliers, pull that out. That's how you size the bracelet. Feels cheap, doesn't, you know, just kind of, you know, gets, it's just tough, you know, but it doesn't, it doesn't have any really sharp edges. 
Um, I mean, I guess going like this is pretty, I mean, look, for the price, obviously it's gonna be a cheap bracelet, but I've worn it and it's a comfortable bracelet. It's light years better than my Vostok bracelet, which is just, I'm, there's no way you can even wear that watch on the bracelet because it is so awful. And we're gonna get to that watch again in another video. And there it is on my seven inch wrist. And I just really appreciate the retro futuristic look of this watch. And even though the case is plastic, it does give it a light feel. And I kind of like that, just wears nice on the wrist. Just cool to see that Casio is still making watches that kind of put them on the map and made them famous. Cheap digital watches, but with a lot of bang per buck. And there you have it folks, the Casio World Time. I think it's a really cool watch. Has that old school, late 70s, early 80s look, even though it's still being produced today. Definitely a bit of an homage to the watch worn in Octopussy, as I mentioned before, but for under $24 delivered to your door, can't really go wrong. It's not some horological masterpiece. It's just what Casio did to make themselves the company they are today. Still uploading Tuesdays and Fridays. And as always, I'll see you next time on another video.